Hi guys, how you guys doing? So I haven't cropped forever. I love this tile. So I'm gonna alter this already glued it. This is a rectangle scene. So I do have the square one. So this is a rectangle, so a little bit bigger. So I go ahead and glue this with my wood glue. But I haven't put it together because I'm thinking that I might, uh, you know, I have to pay, uh, put the paper on this so easy for me. It just places with my Mod Podge and let it dry and cut with my craft knife and cut it. So uh, I did happen to dig to, so I'm gonna start packing stuff, guys. So I dig to and I found this paper. So I'm going to use this thin. Um, try to use all my paper. So I'm trying not to buy the new paper until I use all this. I'm thinking this one might fit. Well, this is the wrong way, but this one, the bottom here, it will. Oh no, it's too small that one. Anyway, I can use this. Let me see. I can use that, but I'm thinking. What I want to use this one, not sure why I want to use that, but so that one I can cut. Use that one right there, and I will have this one. You know what? This one I can use this one as well, so I This flower here, I can use that one inside. See that? So there's some sentiment there. That was I'm thinking. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, guys, after I pick up my paper. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna use this pit. I found this is perfect. So um, I'm going to use this on the back here, so I'm going to use this one inside here. So what I'm going to do is Mod Podge did. did my favorite paintbrush, I love this. So I'm gonna apply this one up. So I'm let that one dry and you wanna cut it off your sharp craft knife. I'm still thinking what am I going to do with this? Should I cover with the paper or what? Try to move my side away. I'm 
try to finish a few projects here before I pack all the stuff in my box, guys. Now I'm going to sand my paper. Okay, I decided to cover this and I'm going to because in already I hear this part can be a hard time for me to cut it but I'm gonna put this one on top of this and I put that one there so now voila so I can use my craft knife to thread and cut out like here.
Okay guys, I'm back. So I decided to um, cover that one and the bottom. I'm not sure about this side because then I already put all pieces together. But I have this one pieces here. Um, I'm going to use for this one here for the side. Now I might use um, this one for both sides and then this one will be up and down there. But third, I'm gonna have to measure this side. I don't have any Lulu with me at the moment, guys. Hang on, I'll be Hi guys, so I'm back. So I cut this in half and decided to cover with the Hi paper. <laughs> Good. So then I cut this. I'm gonna go insert right there. So if you wanna do this, you might put cut all these pieces before you put all you piece it together. That's gonna give you a difficult like I am now. Now I'm back so I'm gonna glue this one so it is all paper piercing so I'm gonna paint on the edges here because then I don't like it the look so but I'm gonna glue this one there first so when you my wood glue Again instead of the small pool. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. So I put this together when you glue this one. So it actually when you sit like it, when it dry it's it tend to fall backwards. So what I do it did lay like that. So and then let it dry. So it's looking pretty good. So I like it. And then I paint this on the uh, it is here with the blue here is a sea foam blue here oh, this is one of my favorite color also it, it's kind of like a um woolly petal blue i love that so that is so far so um i haven't mod podge all these to seal make it you know last longer so I'm still thinking that what I'm gonna do with this, I have no idea. So I bought this wing. So this wing is my, a, if you look at my uh, Christmas dolls wood, I have this wing. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put that right there. Alrighty, I'm not sure yet, but. 
but I have some pictures that I want to use so I want to use this um, I know on my project I love it photo is meaningful to me and it personal I don't like to just outer it's nothing in it because I don't know what to do with it no reason to keep so I always love love to use the picture so did picture me and Cody when he what what I'm not sure how he's so like four or five months I'm not sure he, he can't walk it yet I tried to teach him how to walk so um I don't know this may be a little bit too big but uh, I have Polaroid frame here so this Polaroid frame I have the inside so uh, $3.99 for 10 of them but it's not the same size this is the big one and then uh, another one the inside of this so the smaller size but this one will actually will fit in there so I'm gonna use this one. I either lean that way or that way. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm gonna um paint different color. You know what? I learned that when Angela do um the picture so I'm gonna use acetate to protect the picture so but first I'm gonna paint this one first I'm thinking either blue pink or yellow here or green that I'm gonna you I'm gonna try to you know match or the paper I mean the colors to this you know what I actually can use the uh, paper just cut it so I don't have to paint it. You know what? Then I want to use this paper so bad, so I guess I mean I want to use it all, so I don't want to waste it because see this paper. So I actually can yeah let's cover this so and then on the side I can paint this to color. You know even though this one is so bad. MDF wood, but you see, it's, you can darken your hand. But when you paint it, it doesn't make any difference from the lighter color. So, beside that color, I can use different one. You know what? I can use this, this pink, or not just that flower. Let's take that one out and this I might use that somehow, I don't know yet, but that's some of my choice. Um so either that pink or this flower frame, I'm gonna use the flower frame. So I'm gonna mod podge this. Let me find my paintbrush. You know what, guys? My paintbrush is all is. Uh, I get I have to soak in acetone, huh? To soften this. sure it flourishes better or this pink better get it. see I change my mind a lot because then I have too much, too much <laughs> choices you know if you give people this choice they, make, they will make decision faster but you have 10 choices it take forever but if you have two choice either this one or that one is faster right <laughs> 
So let's compare this one to the paper than the picture. Either that better or that better. Um, let's go with this one. Maybe that one a little bit too much. The flow. And after I mod podge did, I mean cover with the paper, we cut it off and then paint it on the board um, on the side, the edges. And I will go find the acetate to, to protect the photo. Actually, Angela did her is um, to make a album shaker card, right? That's a really cool idea. I probably can do the shake a card too, you know, but uh, I don't think this one you will see much shake a card because then it's, it can move anywhere. So I'm gonna paint this all around here, okay? With this blue, um, you know what? I let's do pink. Yep. I'm gonna use this a um skin tone here. I haven't used this way a little while though. So, meanwhile, hang on, I'm gonna let me cut this one off. Okay, I'm back. So I cut this photo. So um, I'm gonna use it as a tape later. I might cut exactly the same size and put it in there, but I'm not gonna put it right here because when I take pictures of my project, it's always it's give the reflect, and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna use my wood glue. I know I use my wood glue everything. Everything. Well shape and good. You can't really see in here, huh? Because it's kind of like a soft pink color. Um, you know what? On this one, I might add the uh, my wood clock. Let me go find the wood clock that I want to use in here. Okay, I'm back. So I have the clock. I know this is cut lighted, but when you paint it, you're not gonna see that dark color. Look at that burn, really burn. If I want to put that one right there, look. That awesome. So the number inside it fit on the uh, in that circle there. I 
ending and put it upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. That one will fit right in there. So I'm going to use this one. So um, I'm still thinking that is... Hang on, sorry, what off the camera. So I either lean that way or push back there. Is well, I can make it like it pop out a little bit, but I'm gonna play around with this. I either use the fence right there in the front. Or I have music notes. Um, I can use this one down there. And I have the lamppost. Well, cinnamon, you I don't think that one will good in there. Mm, you know what? As you know, all we know that I love my gates. I'm still thinking, should I use this gate or not? Um, now this will be move a lot convention to convention next year so it's I don't want it to break. I don't think I'm gonna use this gate. So and if I use that one right there and I use this one right there, um what I wanna do is this uh, corner lamp post right there, I can use this right there. Oh, maybe right there. So, I'm going to use this right and I have this here. Or I can use this. What happened with this XO here? But I'm not gonna put anything down there. Or maybe I should use tiny, tiny fence that I got. I always love those. You know what, what I'm going to do, I might hang something above here, make it like, uh, so I don't know, I can use this right there, if it's, but this one, I think I'm going to do a little bit by little, so, um, okay, today, uh, this is going to be it for today, uh, we're going to leave for the poverty. So I will post this video for today and I will be back in a couple of days to um, try to finish this one before I pack all my craft stuff. <laughs> so it will be a little while before I can craft again. So okay guys, that it for today and thank you so much guys for watching. Please leave your comment and give me a thumb up and share this video if you like. Thank you guys. I will see you all later. Bye bye.